need to track progress over time, whether it's sales, expenses or anything else. I'll show you two easy ways to calculate year-to-date in Excel. The old school way. Let's start with a classic IF formula to calculate Y2D step by step. If month date equals 1, then value. This checks if the date is in January. If it is, we just take that month's value since it's the start of the year. There is nothing before it to add. If it's any other month, we add the current value to the total from the previous row. This gives us the running total as we move through the year. It's simple and gives you full control. You can clearly see how each row adds up. Perfect if you like building things manually. Now let's try a more advanced automatic way using the scan function. This part kicks off the entire process. Scan is a newer function that scans through a range and applies a running calculation. Here is how it works. The zero is the initial value that we start with. Table 1 sales refers to the range of values we want to scan through. Scan will go row by row applying a formula to each. Now this part defines what calculation should happen as scan moves through each value. Lambda lets you create a custom function. Let's break it down. A is the running total. Each time scan moves to a new row, A holds the total that's been calculated so far. B is the current value being processed. The last part is where we control how the Y2D is calculated based on the date. Let's look at this line closely. The if statement here checks if the current value corresponds to January, the first month of the year, and the offset function is used to shift back one column where the date is stored. This part checks the month of the current row's date. If it's January, the formula resets the running total to just the current value, B. If it's not January, the formula adds the current value, B, to the running total, A. This keeps Y2D going by adding up all previous month's totals. The beauty of scan combined with lambda is that everything is calculated automatically. Whether you prefer the old school method or the modern one, both are great ways to calculate year-to-date values in Excel. Give them a try with your data, sales, expenses or anything you are tracking. If this was helpful, hit like and subscribe. See ya!